let's move on. Central Florida. This is the team everybody's here for anyway, right? Nah, maybe not. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> 12 and 1 last year, 8 and 0 in the conference. Two undefeated seasons back to back. Come on, man. Well, last year wasn't undefeated. Well, before the bowl. Game. I know. I'm just playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. Regular season. Uh, yeah, eight and zero in the conference. Seven offensive starters returning. Five on defense. Number six most experienced in the conference. Number forty six in the country. Head coach Josh Heupel. He kept the magic going with Mackenzie Melton and them. Uh, but then they have the injury, and they lose to LSU in the Fiesta Bowl. And now they are bringing in Notre Dame quarterback Brandon Wimbush as a transfer. He's going to battle sophomore quarterback Daryl Mack Jr. They got a ton of talent. They got more talent than anybody else in the league. And that's saying something because this is really, it's a good conference. It's a good conference. It's a the really defense good conference. Returns a bulk of the secondary, but not much else. Defensive line was number 118 against the run in 2018. They'll probably get better on that this year. They brought in some dudes. Uh, schedule this year. It is not nearly as kind as it has been the last two Oh, no, seasons. they went out and they got, some, they got some people to play. Yeah, they well, they got some people to play, but they also wear the road games and whatnot set well, yeah, up. Yeah, it just happens it's, to fall. It's That's just right. a little different. This True. year, we're not going to get, like, the last two seasons we've had four games between Memphis and UCF. That ain't happening this year because they don't play in the regular season. Uh, look, I've got them going 10-2 and two this year. I got them 7-1 and one in the conference. I got them winning this division. Um. And here's how this works out, right? So Cincinnati, I've got beating them. Okay. Right? We already talked about that. Yep. I've got them losing at home to Stanford and then winning at Pitt the week after. I think it's the same thing. But then I got them beating everybody else. And Cincinnati, I think, loses at Houston and at Memphis. So that's two conference losses for Cincy and only one for Central Florida, even though they lose at Cincy. You feel me? Yep. All right. So I've got them 10 and 2. And I think that's pretty good. Yes, 10, ten wins I think that's is pretty, remarkable. But can you imagine? 10 wins is remarkable. If, if they were to lose two games by Friday, October the 4th, can you imagine what that fan base will be? That it, They have been if one of, so if, unbelievable. If, if one of those teams is Stanford and they have a road win over a Power 5 team, I mean, I know Pitt's not like a juggernaut, but they're also not, you know, like a bum. Well, I'm saying if you, it's not if like you going lose and saying, at Cincy, we'd be Rucker. Because the last two years, they've been undefeated in conference. Right? I mean, undefeated regular season in yeah. national champs in 2017. But you lose to Stanford at home in the biggest game on the schedule. Correct. And then you lose at Cincinnati in the first real conference game. I mean, it. How does the fan base react? They well, haven't just, had to deal with this in that, years. I don't think. I don't think you can just say we finally lost a game. Oh, let's just throw in the towel. No, let's I all agree go home, you. guys. Let's go home. We finally lost a conference game. Well, let's quit playing football. We're not going to support the team <laughs> anymore. No, I'm with you. I'm I, with I just you. don't I understand think that's where realistic. Like, what are you talking about? Josh Heupel is a really good coach, by the way. I forgot. I don't know how I forgot this, but I totally forgot that he learned and coached under Leach. You didn't remember that? No. Yeah. I was trying to figure out how I knew him, where I knew him. It's from Oklahoma when when Leach yeah. was there back 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 in the day under Leach as a quarterback coach. Yeah, he, he he's legit. Like if he can, he's gonna he's he's a he's not gonna be. He is a good coach. He has got two. And this is a really good team. They well, got a lot of talent. Here's the difference, though. Yeah, the team's got a lot of talent. He's got two quarterbacks that ain't real good at throwing the football. He'll figure it out. That's I figure they, he you will. You know what? They got neither too much talent these, not to. Neither, Brendan Wimbush hadn't had a quarterbacks coach work with him the way Hypo's going to work with him. Sure. Hypo will get more out of him if he's a starter. Hypo will get more out of him than anybody coaching Notre Dame ever could have. Yeah, you're probably right. He's just a better coach than those guys. You are probably right. 